Excellent. Thank you uh, for the opportunity to be here. Uh, my name is Jorge Ferrer. I uh, I will speak in representation of the chapter of Mexico, and uh, I prepare a brief uh, uh, some points. Uh, and the outline of this presentation will try to present uh, very important things in order to understand what is going on in Mexico. First, a uh, brief recap of, of the aerospace sector in our country. And regarding to the uh, chapter activities, I will present some of them and future actions. And by the end of the presentation, I will conclude with some final remarks. Um, in order to understand what is going on uh, in Mexico, we need to understand that in the last 10 years, uh, the Mexican aerospace sector created a very competitive and industrial environment. And there is a lot of strategies born in order to try to develop this sector along the country. It's necessary also to point out that the undergraduate and graduate uh, educational programs that we have are aligned to the trends in the space sector. Uh, I, I want to call your attention that I will talk for the first uh, for the first slide regarding to aerospace sector and this is uh, and this will come very important in the next slide also we need to understand that mexico has a very unique uh, uh, needs regarding to 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 the social uh, uh, request that uh, the mexican people have for example, uh, also uh, as a lot of charter of, of countries have, uh, we need the, we have the need of a uh, highly trained human capital formation. Also, we need to develop our own technology. We don't have uh, regarding to the space sector. We buy the solution in hand. Also, uh, the different players in the sector sometimes it's really complicated to talk each other. And since Mexico has the impact of meteorological phenomena every year, we have the need of remote sensing uh, uh, systems. And also, uh, still in 2023, we have very remote communities that we need to connect uh, for educational and health services. So uh, thinking, uh, you need to start to think that in one hand, we have the uh, needs of the uh, aerospace sector from the industry, from the private sector, and in other, the social needs that Mexico have. And uh, now the thing that you are uh, looking right now is a uh, Mexico map, and each point detail of uh, the, uh, each state, uh, Mexico is formed by 32 states. And as you know, we, are, we have a border with the U.S., and uh, each uh, state hosts uh, several aerospace industry that the majority of the industry is aeronautical, is not a space industry. This, this is very important because at the end, although we have a very strong aeronautical industry, we don't have a very strong space industry. And thinking about the, the previous presentation and how it is, uh, the sector evolving, one thing that we really believe uh, in order to evolve as a chapter and evolve as a, um, as all these efforts that we are doing to, to have a very strong sector is to have industry. So uh, there we are, right now we have uh, 368 aeronautic industry and uh, Basically, uh, if you sum the, all the industry located in the north, it represents the seventy percent of all the total industry, and and that makes sense because they want to be uh, close to the U.S. Also, if we talk about uh, how the government of Mexico is trying to foster the space sector, uh, we need to talk about the uh, Mexican Space Agency. It created some. Uh, regional space development center. Uh, they create one in the state of Mexico, another in the state of Zacatecas. Also, the National Council of Science and Technology, that is the equivalent of the National Science Foundation of the US, 
uh, this organization has a very strong program of national laboratories that are facilities that tries to do original research and unique in Mexico. Uh, we have uh, in the country three national laboratories devoted to the space sector. One, one is called LANOT. This laboratory is devoted to space, uh, sorry, to uh, remote sensing. Other is called in uh, in here. This laboratory is devoted to test, design, fabricate, and uh, and design a space system and automotive system. Another is called Lance. This laboratory is a special, is a, a focus its attention in the space weather uh, analysis. So as you can see, we have very strong uh, uh, facilities. However, one thing that uh, we don't have is some of these big projects where uh, we can, um, uh, from scratch, design spacecrafts. Uh, usually, Mexico buy this spacecraft. We don't design it. So right now, uh, we are trying to design or own a spacecraft. Of course, if we talk about education, we have uh, different levels of degrees that are offered by different kind of uh, uh, of institutions. We have the technical degrees, undergraduate degrees, and graduate degrees. And for uh, for the in the particular case of aerospace engineering, this degree is offered by six institutions. Uh, however, only one institution, uh, the National University of Mexico, offer a degree with a very defined track, not only in the aeronautical engineering, but also in the space engineering. So this is very important because uh, as far as we know, uh, there is a lot of interest of companies uh, to come to Mexico in order to establish uh, their uh, activities here. And this is as a consequence of the new sharing policy that is fostering by the uh, government of Mexico. Uh, also regarding to uh, to different, uh, to the uh, nanosatellite uh, uh, projects that we have already as a country, uh, we can mention that we have already five. And there is, uh, the biggest of this is a 6U satellite. Uh, launched by a company. However, uh, the, sat the nano satellite coming from universities, there are very small ones. And now uh, I am presenting to you some of the upcoming uh, projects that we have. We have the nano satellite Kaoto, that, uh, that uh, the mission is uh, to do some low resolution remote sensing studies. Shiva one, that, that the mission is to measure some of the dust and pollution from volcanoes, a Ixaya mission that has the objective to measure hot spots that can be the precursors of, uh, of fires in Mexico City, and the constellation of Aztec Sat 2 that basically uh, in this project, there is several universities, uh, four that participate with NASA and the uh, Mexican Space Agency, uh, agency to, to build a constellation to monitor some, uh, some uh, animals in the sea. Uh, this is important because as I told you before, uh, since Mexico usually they buy the system, they don't uh, develop their uh, the spacecraft system or, or um, monitor or remote sensing solutions, uh, these projects represent a unique opportunity to create uh, this trust in the decision takers in order to develop more projects, more ambitious projects with more funding. Regarding to UNICEF Mex Mexico, uh, this, uh, this uh, organization was formed on uh, November 2014 at that moment, we were uh, we were only four members. Uh, also, I am presenting here the map, and the states in blue are were the the members at that moment. Right now, uh, we have a uh, presence in nine states, ten universities, and the idea is to grow up 
their the number of members in such a way that we can have presence in each state. Uh, this this slide uh, was presented the, uh, before in previous uh, meetings, and the idea is to try to present to you uh, a traditional uh, activities that we have. We have uh, annual cancer uh, courses. We have a uh, national concept in can uh, regarding cancer, some training, academic changes, uh, collaboration, local events, and also we're trying to to publish some of the PDRs from the cancer contest, and also try to uh, 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 disseminate the news about all the activities of each member. For example, for the last chap for the last contest that was that was uh, carried out last year, we uh, this contest was done in the state of Querétaro, that is three hours north Mexico City. For this concert, we have 20 teams, almost 100 students, 10 universities, and 12 sponsors. Uh, we really believe that this uh, activity can be one of our main activities that, uh, that results in the formation of new uh, enthusiasts in the space uh, sector, but also uh, like three years ago, uh, UNICEF Mexico uh, collaborate to design the aerospace engineering program at the National University of Mexico. This program uh, was it is the only one in the country that offer two tracks, uh, very uh, very interesting and very well done. Because since we have a very uh, a very strong aeronautical industry. We offer a very competitive track in aeronautical engineering, but also since we have this lack of industry in the space sector, we offer a very a very competitive track in the in the space engineering sector in order to try to motivate new students to try to form the industry that we have and also to attract the uh, big industry, the big players to the, to Mexico. So as future action that we have in mind is to, as I told you before, is to increase the number of members uh, around the country to continue the cancer competition. Uh, for us, it's very important. At the, uh, at the beginning in 2014, uh, the cancer competition of, the, uh, of UNICEF was the only one in Mexico. Right now, we have other two that 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 is very interesting because with this effort we are trying to sum uh, more players in the equation in order to foster this sector. We are trying to articulate travis, uh, uh, trans, uh, transversal projects around the members, and this is very important uh, because as you can uh, as uh, as you can see from other experience, uh, we need not only to try as each member um, to design or to think in their own project, we need as a, a chapter, try to foster a bigger, a, a, a more complex and more um, ambitious projects. So uh, also we, we will continue creating courses in order to be included of course, in some undergraduate and graduate programs we want really to establish partnership with the industry and government. Right now, the government changed their policy in order to focus not in technology, they want to focus in, in basic science. Uh, and this, uh, th this change really was a very hard to take from our side because uh, in the past administration, the government uh, they give a lot of funding for uh, for technology. For right now, that uh, funding was cut. Also, we need to continue uh, uh, fostering. We need to continue encourage uh, the students from different levels the love for space because we need. Uh, we know that since uh, if we don't have the the enough the the, the enough amount of students in order to do this the space sector 
uh, in Mexico will be not possible. Uh, uh, at the end of the presentation, the final remarks that we uh, that we want to share with you is that Mexico needs to develop the space industry in order to close the loop. As you, uh, uh, as I presented before, we have very interesting facilities. We have uh, projects, but the problem is that we don't have industry, and this is is kind of uh, of important because. For example, uh, if you have students that uh, that go for the for a degree in in some of the university, the big question to answer is where those students will work at the end of of the university. So, the academia is 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 one of those places, but also we need more spaces in order to create this rich environment that we want. Also, uh, last year there uh, there there were a lot of uh, interested to uh, to do a modification of the constitution in order to create uh, uh, or to emphasize the importance of the sector for Mexico and also to uh, foster these uh, standards done in Mexico by by experts in Mexico in order to have all the tools to design our own solutions in space. Uh, then uh, we need to find new ways to fund our activities, uh, maybe for government, maybe for private sector, maybe for uh, uh, crowdfunding, we don't know yet because it's kind of difficult. I can tell you that a lot of members, basically they use our own money in order to fund uh, the activities of UNICEF Mexico. Now uh, we need to continue encourage our students to continue build the, uh, uh, these uh, elements in the national spec sector and by, uh, by the end, uh, we want to look for win-win partnerships. This is very important because if we can establish this kind of partnerships, uh, we we win. Uh, we can find these solutions, these environments uh, that can be uh, good for each player that wants to be in the space sector. So uh, I want to thank uh, to thank you to everyone. I don't know if I was uh, too fast. But if you have any question, please let me know. Okay, okay, Jorge. Thank you for your presentation from Mexico. So tonight we've heard from Nepal.